All right, so this is a topic I love to talk about. <laughs> Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel, it's Wolanda. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys, or well, telling you guys, how I made over 10K, 12K, 15, you get the drift, just by selling merch. So if you guys are interested in talking about money, talk about how to get your bag, talk about living your best life, go ahead and stay tuned. Sorry guys, if this is the first time you're clicking on my video, hey, my name is Wolanda Prevlon. I am also known as Imported underscore chocolate on Instagram. Before I get into it, if you are not following me on Instagram, go ahead and do that. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and let's talk about getting our bag. All right guys, so this is my favorite topic to talk about because I love talking to entrepreneurs. Now, these are the top 10 tips that I personally know that helped me achieve um, making this much a month with selling merch. So my first tip is to make sure you take your merch off of platforms like Printful and Printify, Tees, T-shirts.com, whatever the platforms or websites that automatically generates your merch. Because from experience, I legit had my first set of sweatshirts on printful.com for the longest. I want to say over here. It's probably still on it, to be honest. I don't even know. I don't even go on that account anymore. I literally had it on there for a minute and I got, I want to say max, like 20, 20 sales. And throughout those sales, you know what percentage I got out of that? A very small percentage. You have to understand for platforms like that, because they source the garment, because they are printing for you and they're drop shipping it out for you, you literally, all you did was design. So being that you did a very, very small portion of the entire production, they're going to get a big, big chunk off of that garment. I literally was making pennies <laughs> from if I sold it for $20, making pennies from that. So it's definitely good to make sure you are taking it off of sites like that so you could get your full amount and it's your brand. For me to actually see what was on the shirt, I had to purchase it myself, like as a sample or full price, whatever it is. I didn't mind paying full price for my own shirt, but it's just the fact that I don't know what you guys as customers are going to to see, to get. I'm pretty sure they have some type of quality control, but I just don't know. And it just doesn't sit right with me to just have an item being shipped out directly to you that my name, my face is on it and me not being able to know the quality of the shirt, know the quality of the print. Is it going to smear? Is it going to bleed? Like, I don't know any of that. So Taking it off of those type of platforms definitely allows you to have more control over what is, what is sold, what is going out. So tip number two, test out quality first. So being that you're not using Printful or Printify, whatever it is anymore, now you got to source these garments yourself. You have to make sure you test out the qualities first. If you see the specific color you want, take one piece out of each uh, company in order for you to test out the color, the material, the thickness, the stitching, everything, the size as well, because you do not want to get into a situation where you buy 500 sweatshirts, but they're not the color that you've seen online. Two, their trash quality it happened to me. Like there's so many different factors and variables when it comes to not getting at least one piece to make sure this is exactly the one that I want to be sent out to my customers. Make sure you are testing out customer service of the company that you're getting it from as well. What if 
you run out of orders and you want to order more of that specific one but yet the customer service for that company is not responding and you're over here pre-ordering and you are behind it's just so many factors so just make sure you are testing everything out first before jumping full in all right so the third tip is have bomb customer service now i do have shipping policies i do have return policies on my website for everyone who is purchasing can see and read and just to cover my behind so you gotta make sure your customer service service is on point for example i've had packages being missed item coming destroyed just so many things anything that can happen will happen you definitely have to make sure you are either via email if they can't reach your via phone via email just make sure you are prompt with the responses because these people are you don't know where they've been what they've been through they've probably already been burned by another instagram boutique or um, another company and they're just fed up and they just want their stuff back you don't you never know what it is so just making sure you have your behind cover when it comes to fully having all your disclaimers on your page when they do contact you be propped and be as nice as possible because at the end of the day customers only want two things either their money back or the product most of the time when if i'm purchasing from a company i just want the product i spent the money the money's already gone out of my bank account like that's out of my mind i don't care for my money back i just want the product so just do your best to make sure you are giving that proper customer service to your people so they can come back so even if they do get their money back from one product i've had customers who for some reason they either want their money back it wasn't what they thought for them, honestly, I've had customers email me back and saying, I'm sorry this purchase didn't work out, but I'm definitely coming back and purchasing with you. And it's all because of customer service. I'm telling you, you will have returning customers because of proper, nice customer service. Fourth tip is have a meaning purpose behind your products. Basically, have your product stand out. So in my realm, in my industry, there are a lot of skin, melanin, different types of terms when it comes to brown skin, dark skin, all of that. Like it was just a no brainer. People call me chocolate. My name is Imported Chocolate. So it was just a no brainer to put that on my merch. I have an entire storyline when it comes to why I am called imported chocolate. Tip number five, take time in the little details. I will say this when it comes to designing your product, um, making sure that it is the correct sizing, um, when it comes to even packaging. Packaging is very big in this industry nowadays. People will be like, eh, for the, for the actual thing that is in the box, but will go forth and show the whole shebang on Instagram, on YouTube, of the unboxing with the packaging and the experience and all that. So pay attention to the little details. Make sure the little details don't break the bank because at the same time, you want your items to be profitable. Even the little things that you're like, oh, is that really necessary? Pay attention to it. If you don't include it at this uh, shipment may be included in the next shipment test it out see if it works see the response um, something that is very little that I can say that I paid attention to is sizing right I mean sizing is not really that little but you could just get a company and all small medium larges are what the same right no when it comes to different companies all small medium and larges are created differently <laughs> so i get a lot of people who will dm me or ask me in the comments is this unisex can i buy it as an adult male can i buy it for my team's packaging i make sure that i have the cute you know open me up you know chocolate inside type of vibe um on my packages and you could tell the difference between uh, Dami's Activewear, which is my female boutique and my 
imported chocolate packaging because there's so much more details involved in my merch imported chocolate than Dami. So yeah. Tip number six, repost your customers. So it doesn't matter if you have a million followers or two followers. Allow people to see that there are actual peoples out here purchasing your stuff. There are actual peoples out here reposting and sharing your stuff because one thing people love is seeing that other people or seeing that other seeing someone else actually purchasing from you if that makes any sense that should make a lot of sense actually <laughs> i'm pretty sure you don't go to amazon and not read the reviews or not at least see the number of reviews that is on there at the end of the day you don't want to be the first one to actually purchase something that's new you want to see how other people are feeling about it to see how they react to it to see if it's good or not for your coins to be spent on it right so you got to make sure you are reposting to allow other people to see this is legit for me i do tend to repost either at the end of every month or every other month it just depends on what i'm doing to be honest because i have a lot of moving parts right now so i try to definitely repost if not on my feed on my stories so i try to not to repost on my stories as much and just post on my feed when it comes to customers that honestly boosts other people's confidence to know okay she's legit she's really having people out here buying her stuff and that allows more sales to come in tip number seven show bts and this is a tip that i do but not as often as i feel like i should so showing bts's which is behind the scenes shots uh, when it comes to anything branding people love seeing what happens behind the scenes yes they see the final product it's beautiful it's nice on a feed on a website but they want to see like they want to go through the process with you if that makes any sense so i do show bts's of me packaging the items of me shipping it out of uh if i have a helper us packaging um if i have a new package out showing that like all right this is new packaging coming through new um little cards in the in the boxes coming through i'm making a new sweatshirt a new design this is a sneak peek like people love stuff like that and that excites them and that makes them want to invest more into the the business or into your merch whatever you're selling tip number eight is you honestly there are people who sell so much out here and it's not even about the product it's about you there are people who like to be you know incognito and don't want to be the face of the product which is fine but if you are a face of the product people are really investing in you they love you they love your work ethic they love what you're producing quality all of that tip number nine keep over costs low so me i have an office but my office is for literally all my businesses so it's not as though it's just primarily for imported underscore chocolate i have other businesses that i am in charge of that i am the face of and i'm not the face of so my over cost when it comes to i'm not telling you to get an office space i'm not telling you to get a second bedroom apartment or a home to do whatever you do whatever you have as long as the cost stays low you will be making way more money so that's how it is when it comes to business you got to make sure your over cost is low make sure you're not putting out way more than what's coming in i feel like that was very to the point <laughs> right and the last tip i have is don't have too many varieties so i feel as though this can be a hit and miss when it comes to i guess the different phases you are in your launches so if you're first starting off having a brand new brand and you're trying to sell t-shirts whatever it is don't have too many colors, don't have too many words, don't have too many of anything because like 
when if somebody goes onto the website and if they don't know you it's it's overwhelming you know so have a good three max two one when i first started selling my merch i had two different choices so you had a hundred percent chocolate in the hoodie and then you had imported chocolate in the crew neck both same colors different writing same type of uh, fonts that was my first type of merch so this is what my brand is going to be based off of 100% chocolate and imported chocolate if I want to expand and go off of that and do little things that's fine throughout the the run of the brand that's fine but just having so many different a white a black a this a that a that it's too much and people will get overwhelmed people get confused and people just, they just people are very simple they just want to see something if they like it they like it if they don't they don't you feel me so just make sure the variable or the varieties are very limited and it helps as well because it adds scarcity so if this is all you see, this is all you got, then you have no choice but to get this or that. And that will allow people to purchase more into it and not close out of your website as soon as they open it and see so much going on for merch. You know, for other things, it's fine. For merch, just keep it simple. It's this and this and that. All right, guys. So those were my top 10 tips when it comes to making over 10K, 12K a month when it comes to merch. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave it down below. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this type of videos, go ahead and make sure you are subscribed to this channel, like this video, and guess what? I'll see you guys when y'all make y'all 10K, okay? Or maybe just next week. <laughs> Bye.